You know, it's interesting that the stories of Daniel are well known compared to Bible stories in general. Everybody kind of has something in the back of their mind about the fiery furnace or the lion's den. In that sense, they're well-known Bible stories. What I've noticed over my years of interacting with uh, people in the church, with students, is that the most well-known Bible stories often are the ones that have gotten the most distorted over time. And therefore, when people hear those well-known stories, they're not always hearing them the way that they are in the Bible. And they're not always thinking about them the way that they're presented in the Bible. You know, I don't think of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego as all just walking boldly into the fiery furnace without a second thought or a doubt. Um, I don't see them doing it. I see them arguing with one another about how they should handle this, how they might handle it. Could they get away around it? But then in the end, taking that step of faith. They were human just like we are. And I think lots of the misperceptions about the book of Daniel reflect also how we think about some of the other stories, whether it's Moses or David or Esther. We think of them as heroes. And maybe in some degree they were, but I don't think the Bible wants us to put them up on pedestals so that they seem untouchable and unreal and not like any of us at all. The Bible doesn't hesitate to present them with their humanity. And we're not supposed to put them up on a pedestal. We're supposed to be able to look at them and say, and if God can work through them, maybe he can work through me too. We're supposed to find our place in the story, not raise them up on pedestals and tell hero stories.